Hello everyone and welcome to ABB Robotics Tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to program an ABB robot by using a teach pendant or the flex pendant that you can see over here. We explain how to write a simple code that you can see over here and that moves the robot starting from a safe position that's given over here, then approaching the work object, then following a path over here and going back to the safe position. I can stop the execution of the program by pressing the stop button. Over here you can see this arrow and this arrow represents that we are currently moving to the safe position. Now, if I press this button over here, I'm going to execute only a single command. That is, over here I actually move to save position. Then if I press again, then I will go to point P1, then I will go to point P2, P3, P4, P5, and again to save position. This is how you can manually execute your program one line at a time. In this video tutorial for presentation clarity, I will be using Robot Studio to create a digital twin of my robot, flex pendant and the work object. However, everything that I will explain in this video tutorial can be easily applied to your real life robot. That is, this is the exact model of your teach pendant that you have next to your robot. Okay, so let's start from scratch. Once you open Robot Studio, you will see this window. Then click on New, click on Project, and over here do not click on Include a Robot in Virtual Controller. We will do it manually. Then click on Create. Next, let's add our ABB robot by clicking here, then clicking here, click OK. And next, let's add our Virtual Controller such that we can control the robot, click here, Click from Layout, click Next, Next, and Finish. And here, wait until you see that basically controller status becomes green. Here, be patient, it will take some time. Okay, now we can continue. Next, let's briefly revise basic commands for Zoom, Rotate, and Pan. To zoom, we need to use the middle mouse button. You simply can roll forward or backward your middle mouse button, or you can press the middle mouse button and move left or right. To rotate, press and hold Control shift left mouse button and move the mouse left or right. Then to pan the view, press Control and hold Control and left mouse button and move left or right. Okay. The next step is to add our work object. Click on Modeling, over here click on Solid, click on Box. So, so let's select the corner point of the box, but before we do that, let's just specify the length, for example, to be 350, for example, and then let's move the corner point, for example, 400, let's do this, for X, for Y, minus 300, and that's it. So let's just decrease this a little bit, for example, 350 and OK. So let's click, click on Create and here's our box. Next, let's change the color of this box, do the right click, modify, set color and I like this color. Click OK. Good. The next step is to bring up our Teach Pendant. But before we do that, we need to click on Controller click on the operating mode and let's set the operating mode to manual and click on enable in device. Okay, now we can continue. If you click over here, you will see that our flex pendant is activated. Now what I will do over here, I will pan this view to here, close this and over here you can see my teach pendant. So let's start with memorizing the points. Namely, before we can even code the robot, it's a good practice to memorize points. So let's learn how to do that. 
First of all, click over here, click on jogging, and let's make sure that the motion mode is axis. Click OK. Next, let's move our robot to some safe position that we can arbitrarily define. For example, I will do this for my safe position. And let's do a little bit like this. Let's do this. Okay, so this is my safe position. And the next question is how to memorize this point. Well, to memorize this point, you need to click here, click on program data, then over here, click on view, all data types, and over here, you need to find rob target data type. Rob target data type is used to memorize points. So if I click here, double click, I will get this menu that will enable us to define and memorize the points. I want to memorize this point and I need to just click here on new and I will call this point safe and click OK. Now, this point is now automatically memorized. If you double click over here, you can see X, Y and Z coordinates of this point and this is exactly this point with respect to the coordinate system that's located over here. So what is the name of that coordinate system located over here? This is very important to know. Now, if you click on jogging, you can see that the motion mode is axis 1 or 3. You can see tool 0 and you can see work object. However, we don't see any coordinates here. To show the coordinates over here, the easiest approach is to click over here, click on linear. Currently, we are in a linear motion mode and you can see exactly the coordinates of this point with respect to this coordinate system. And you can see coordinate system is here, its base and another coordinate system is work object. And you can see that the position in coordinate work object. In this particular case the base coordinate system and work object are identical, consequently they are the same. And let's continue. Next, let's define a new point. Again, click here on program data and first of all move your robot to another point. So over here let's make sure that the motion mode for example is linear. This means that we will move linearly along x, y and z axis. So let's start with jogging. So let's approach our object by moving a little bit in z. We hit singularity. And this often happens when you're in the linear mode, so you have to be careful a little bit what you do. And over here, let's do this. Let's go down. And for example, again, we reach a singularity, so be careful. To avoid the reaching singularities, a good approach would be the following. Click on jogging, click on motion mode, and bring back the axis motion mode. And then you can actually have a better control of what you're actually doing without reaching singularity points. Okay, so let's say that this point is our first point. We can see it over here. Over here we didn't attach an end effector, but it doesn't matter. So let's memorize this point, click here, then over here let's click on new, let's call this point P1, click OK, and here's the point P1. Next, let's create point P2. We can do that by simply moving the robot. For example, let's do this. Let this point be P2. Again, new. Call the point, for example, P2. OK. And that's it. Next, let's create point P3. To do that, let's change the motion mode. Click on jogging, click on axis, click on linear, click OK. So let's change the motion mode. For example, let this point be over here, point P3. I'm here arbitrarily selecting points. There is a more elegant approach to define the points. For example, by defining a coordinate system that's attached to your work object and then defining points manually. Okay, so let's now, now go back to the program data, click on new, and let's call this point P3 and let's click OK. Now we have safe position, we have point P1, P2 and P3. 
If you go back to jogging mode, we can automatic, or better to say manually, go to these points. If you click here, go to, and if I select safe, and if I hold, press and hold this button, I will go to the safe position, as you can see over here. Then let's go to P1, select P1, press and hold this. This is P1, this is P2, this is P3, and again we go to the safe position. Next, let's create a program that will start from this point, move to P1, P2, P3, and go back. Okay, how to do that? Well, click over here and click on Program Editor. And this will automatically bring this window. And here is your program. ADV programs are organized by using procedures. And here is the main procedure. And if you're familiar with C and C++ coding, this is our main function equivalent to in ABB programming world. So we will add our program over here. The easiest way to program the robot is to click over here to add an instruction. We will use this move L, which means to move linearly to the destination point. And so let's select this option and let's click above. And here is our command. OK, so let's see this command. We have something move L. This is actually the instruction move linearly. Then we have this star over here that we need to add it. This will be our point. Then we have this velocity that we will also modify, then we have the tolerance or the accuracy of reaching the particular point. And over here we have tool zero. This is actually this coordinate system over here. Now, let's first of all adjust the point. So if you click here, double click, you will see options, right? P1, P2, P3, and save. These are our points. So let's select save and click OK. Good. Let's change the velocity. For example, you can go with velocity 150, or let's do 200 millimeters per second. Let's change this accuracy of approaching the point and double click here. And let's choose very accurate approach that is fine. This means that we will actually approach this point. And let's not play with this option tool zero. Okay, so this is our first point. Next, let's create another instruction so click here to close this one first of all let me just do this you can simply oops you need to close clear let me just do this for a second if you click again here on add instruction you will actually close this window next i want to copy and paste this instruction to do that i will simply click on edit then I will do copy and I will do simply paste. And you can see that I pasted this movement command. I want to move to the point P1. Okay, so how to do that? Over here, I will click on save, double click and select P1. And that's it. Hmm, very interesting and easy. Let's change the velocity. Since I'm approaching a point, I will go with, let's say, 100 millimeters per second. And let's say that I'm not interested to very accurately approach that point. So I will select, for example, Z15. Click OK, and let's continue. Another approach, of course, of adding instruction is to do it manually. So let's practice that option. So click Add Instruction, Move L, and you will see it over here. So let's close this one, double click here. Let's select our point. The point will be P2, and here it is. Let's keep other things as they are. Next, let's copy and paste. Click here, copy, then do paste, and do it once more. OK, close this, and let's adjust the points. So let's say that we have here P2. Next, we need to go to P3. Click OK, and finally, we need to go to save position. Now, this is our code. It's relatively simple. And you can scroll all the way the up or down to see it. Now, how to run this code? Well, before you can run this code in automatic mode, it's very important that you run it in a debug mode. This will enable you to step from one motion instruction to another one. To activate that mode,
click on debug and over here you need to put, press here pp to main this will actually pr press this let me just acknowledge this this will actually put this pointer that is this r arrow at the top of your code and the code will start from here okay now now we are ready to run our code there are several ways for running the code over here you can see the play go forward go backward and stop buttons so let's first play the complete code now when i press this button you should observe what's happening over here so i'm pressing and let's see what is happening uh -huh. we are going to point p1 p2 p3 and save perfect save we are executing p1 we're going to p2 p3 and then save simple as that to stop the execution of the program press over here next you can press this button to go to the next motion instruction so if i press here i will go to p3 then if i press again i will go to save and you can see over here that we were previously in p3 now we are in save let's go back so if i press this button we are going backwards and that's it nothing special very easy and everyone can learn to code avb robots you literally can learn that in 10 15 minutes however learning how to code avb robots in a safe manner it's very challenging it takes probably years of doing things to know how to do that okay that would be all for today thanks for watching